Hello everyone and welcome to a Cotswold Bees vlog special. Now this has been requested by one of our regular viewers, um, SPO616, whoever you are, you know who you are. And um, that particular person has asked, could we do a special on actually why we use a smoker and how to use the smoker? So let's begin by what the smoker isn't supposed to do. It's not there to suppress the bees or subdue them or um, drug them in some way. It's purely and simply to maintain calm within the hive while we're actually trying to do some work. Now there's a lovely story which goes, bees are creatures of the forest, they smell smoke and they think there's a forest fire coming. So what they actually do is they rush to the honey stores because they're gonna to have to leave the hive, gorge themselves on honey, and then they discover that they can't actually sting because they're too full of honey and too docile to actually want to sting anybody. It's a great story, it's a lovely story. It's a shame it's complete rubbish from start to finish, but there you go. And we know it is because recently when they had the fire on the uh, roof of Notre Dame Cathedral, the beehives up there survived and they didn't run away from the hive because of the smoke or anything like that. In fact, bees will never neglect brood and except under very, very difficult circumstances, usually disease related. So they'll never actually fly away from their brood. So it's nothing to do with that. So how does it work and what's it for? All we're trying to do is maintain calmness within the hive. And in order to do that, we've got to start off with calm bees. If our bees are aggressive, then huge amounts of smoke are going to be required. And you see people with vast quantities of smoke billowing all over the place. And that's just bad beekeeping and aggressive bees. We're actually trying to do beekeeping. We're not trying to create kippers. So what we're looking to do is just give a little bit of smoke in at the entrance. And what happens is bees communicate chemically. And the guard bees there, they're trying to shout to the other bees, we're under attack. And the way in which they do that is to release a couple of chemicals. The main one is, a, is an acetate, um, but there are various other chemicals as well. And if I paid more attention to chemistry when I was at school, I'd be able to tell you what they are. But basically what happens is they release these chemicals, the other bees pick them up on their antennae, then they release the chemicals and it goes through the hive and causes consternation through the hive. So a little bit of smoking at the entrance at the very beginning just makes it so that it's a bit like bees shouting across a crowded room where everybody's talking. You just can't hear it. And it's just to disrupt that pheromone at the very beginning to make sure that it doesn't go through the whole hive and cause problems with the hive. Once you're actually into the hive and you're handling bees, then as you'll have seen on many of our other videos, you hardly ever need any smoke. In fact, nine times out of 10, 19 times out of 20, you won't need any smoke at all. And so that's what the smoke is for. And what we need to do now is just have a look at the smoker. We'll light the smoker, show you how to light the smoker because it's a vital part of any beekeeper's equipment. So if you want to come over here, what we're going to do is go down here, have a look, and we're actually going to light our smoker. So come with me. Now this is the way I light my smoker. Different people have different ways of doing it. But this works for me. I've always got a uh, cork in the end of the smoker there. When I put it out, it just cuts off the oxygen supply and means it goes out quicker. So to start the smoker, I want to get a really good fire going in the bottom and I use egg boxes. So I tear up my egg boxes put them in the bottom of the smoker and we eat quite a few eggs so I've always got plenty of egg boxes around the place and you do want to get a decent fire going in the bottom so there we go now if I was a proper beekeeper I'd now use a lighted taper but um, I'm not going to do that I've got a blowtorch I much prefer using the blowtorch so using the blowtorch I'm going to get a really good fire going in the bottom. And here we go. And now that fire's started, I can start puffing this through just to get a really good amount of smoke going through there. I can then use my fuel of choice. Um, I sometimes I use pine cones. I've got loads of damp wood at the moment, not damp wood, I mean rotten wood at the moment, and that makes an absolutely brilliant smoker fuel. Different people will use different smoker fuels, use whatever is your fuel of choice. 
and say if I can't find rotten wood, I use pine cones. And then I want to get a really good fire going in there. Now my only problem with this smoke is this smoke now is quite hot and also it might have bits of spark in it or, or bits of soot in it. So I'm gonna put a filter on the top to actually cool the smoke down. And for that I need some, some damp grass. And I've got some here. All you need to do is grab a little bit of damp grass, twist it up like that, put it in the lid, close the lid of the smoker, and then you'll find this smoke is absolutely stone cold now. We don't want to be spraying our bees with hot smoke. And so that smoker will keep going for quite some time. And I'm going to use almost no smoke, as you've seen in the videos. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to cut away to another video and show you me using the smoker and show you how little smoke is actually needed when you're actually inspecting your bees. If you do need a lot of smoke, if you do have aggressive bees for any reason, and very occasionally you do get the situation where bees are aggressive, maybe they've lost their queen or a food supply has gone off or they've swarmed and you've got a queenless hive behind, in that case you might want to use a goodly puff of smoke just to move them down until such time as you can get in and, in, and uh, inspect them properly. So let's go over now and have a look at how we actually use the smoker and see what we do. So exactly the same as we normally do, just a tiny bit of smoke in the front, just to let them know we're coming. That's more than enough, that's fine. So we're then, just gonna put a little bit of smoke into the hive now. If you remember, we only need the tiniest bit, so just a little puff like that, and that's more than enough smoke. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you now understand why we use a smoker and how we use a smoker. If you really did enjoy it, that's great. Please give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe, and we'll be back with another video very soon. So until then, enjoy your beekeeping, enjoy your bees, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.